Hello, everybody. This is attempt two <laughs> of my live video. I don't know what's going on, but um, hopefully this video will be recording and everybody can hear me. So if you are watching, hit that thumbs up button if you can hear me. Um, today I am talking about how do you show up, which is ironic because apparently Facebook doesn't want me to show up today. <laughs> Um, so if you are new to Shape It Up, welcome. Uh, my name is Nicole Simonin. I am the personal trainer at Shape It Up. I own the business. I am not a franchise. And I started this business 13 years ago in an effort to kind of get out of the house because I had two young kids and I was going crazy watching Sesame Street and all the kids stuff, which don't get me wrong, I love doing, but I needed like an adult time, a, an outlet. So I started Mommy and Me Boot Camps. Long story short, here I am today. I'm doing personal training, private training, online training, um, because I feel it's more effective um, when you have a customized program that actually works for you. So if you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I um, have to say I'm really excited that we have over 7,000 followers of the Shape It Up channel. So thank you so much. And I'm also really excited to say there's quite a few people that are not in the United States that are following Shape It Up. So hello to the Europeans and the Australians out there. Thank you so much for um, checking out the page. I hope you all love what you're seeing. Um, you can always put in the comment section if you want a topic discussed, uh, feel free to put that in down below. All right. Um, before we dive into the topic of how do you show up, I wanted to let you know about this program that I have. It's called Turn Your Life Around. And what it is, is I have taking, taken all my 13 years of experience and put it into this program. This program has all the tools that you need to get to the results that you want. So whether you decide to stay with me and work with me through all them, that's your decision, but basically um, it's a six week program. I give you everything that you could possibly need to succeed. If you want to check that out, just as a side note, there are no crazy diets in there. There are no insane workouts. It's something I've designed for you. It's not some generic program. I take each client and I design their own workouts and um, we work together one-on-one -on -one to get you to the results that you want. So. If you are serious about finally ditching those extra pounds that are weighing you down, or kilos, I think that's correct for European, <laughs> um, go head over to shapeitupfitness.com slash call, C-A-L-L, -L, and just click that button, it'll take you to a new page, fill out that form, and you can request a free phone consult with me, and we can just discuss if it's right for you. All right, so diving into today's topic, um, how do you show up? So... If you are working in a job that you don't like, because come on, most people don't like their jobs. I am not one of them. I love what I do. <laughs> but there are a lot of people out there who feel like they are stuck in a job that they don't like. And when you don't like your job, how do you show up at work? Do you show up with enthusiasm? Do you want to be there? Do you watch the clock? incessantly <laughs> to make to can't wait to punch out or be done for the day how do you show up with your workouts do you just go through the motions um, do you pardon my French do you half-ass the workout just to get through it now don't get me wrong I think there are some times when you're kind of in a funk that you can kind of go through the motions but ideally if you look at a whole year span you should not be going through the motions 365 days out of the year. It should be like a small, tiny, tiny little chunk. <laughs> so if you are approaching your workouts, dreading them, not wanting to do them, that kind of thing, how do you show up for those? Also, how do you show up for your food choices? When you are um, confronted at a buffet or at an employee lunch or meeting or you're out with friends, how do you show up? How do you make the choices that you make? Do you just grab whatever you want to eat? Um, do you give thought to it? Do you eat until you're stuffed? Um, do you feel like when you're eating, you deserve the food? Meaning like if you see cake, oh, I had a really hard week. I'm going to have cake because I deserve this. Or you had a long day at work. I'm going to have a glass of wine because the kids are driving me crazy. Do you deserve that? So 
how you show up in life will really reflect in all the things that you say you want. So think about this. If you say that you want to lose weight or inches, um, but you're still overeating, you're still maybe eating a whole bag of potato chips, or you are, you know, diving into ice cream every night. Um, and I'm not talking about normal size portions, because if you follow me at all, you know that all foods is, no food is off limits. Um, but think about how you interact throughout your day. Um, you know, if you say you want to be more healthy, and yet you still are sitting, so say you have a desk job, and then you come home from work, and you just sit on the couch for the rest of the night, how is that helping propel you to get to your goals? Um, so what I would like to offer to you to try is to imagine how your life is going to be different whenever you achieve whatever goal it is that you want. So say you want to lose 20 pounds, say you want to lose 50 pounds. Um, what is life like when you're 50 pounds lighter? What is, what actually is going on in your life? So imagine you have already achieved your goals and I want you to get into full on detail. Okay. Don't just go, Oh, life would be great. Life would be wonderful. Because honestly, if you're waiting for your life to change and be great and wonderful after you've lost the 50 or hundred pounds or whatever it is, you're decided that you want to lose and that's what's going to make you happy, you will never be happy. You have to learn how to be happy right now in the body that you are in, in the situations that you are in. Um, if you can't find happiness now, you're never going to be happy when you get to a lighter weight. So, sorry, a little side note on that. Um, but I want you to imagine what life is like. So, if you're, say, 50 pounds lighter, what, how do you get up in the morning? Um, you know, do you go down and have breakfast? Do you go for a walk with your dog? Do you eat certain types of foods? What are the clothes that you like to wear? If you're 50 pounds lighter, what, how do you carry yourself? Do, how do you do your hair? How do you wear your makeup? How do you approach people? How do you talk to people? All these things, like what do you, um, what do you have in your life? Um, not just material things, but like, you know, just really kind of envision what's life like when you lose the 50 pounds. Um, the interesting idea behind this is that if you start living from a place of I've already got it, all the puzzle pieces start falling into place. Now, this is a big jump for most people because yes, we can probably dream about it and we can imagine it, but those little steps that we have to do to get to that goal or whatever it is that we're after, that's where things kind of fall apart, okay? And this is where when I work with clients, we work on your frame of mind and kind of making sure that you are in a good frame of mind and then when things do kind of fall off balance, we get you back on track. Because it's amazing, I mean, think about this. If you said you wanted to lose 50 pounds, and you had a step-by-step -step outline of what to do, then you should be able to lose those 50 pounds, right? The problem comes in is when you have a plan that either doesn't fit your lifestyle, and you fall off and you don't follow it, or um, you just don't, oh, I lost my train of thought. This is what happens when it's live. <laughs> All right, so you four, over 40 ladies, please tell me it's not just me. I forget things all the time. But um, so as you're imagining your ideal life, really kind of hone in on what it feels like to be that person at, I'm just using an example, 50 pounds lighter. Write out a list and see what, um, see what comes up for you. See how you feel living that life. Again, if you're waiting to be happy when you lose 50 pounds, it's not going to happen. All right, so talking about showing up. So how do you want to show up in life if you have this dream goal of whatever it is? Really have to think, so let's go back to the scenario of showing up at work and not really wanting to be there. 
um, when you kind of shift your mind in the fact that, okay, so say you don't like your job. If you go into there thinking, okay, I'm going to be the best version that I can be in this job while I'm here. Maybe I need to find a new job. Maybe I just need to find the best things out of that job. Okay, so you show up differently. <clears throat> you probably show up on time. You probably get your work done. You're probably not staring at that clock all day long until you punch out. Same thing when you go into your workouts. Now, if you go into your workouts and you have the mindset of, I'm going to kick some butt today, and whatever that means for you, doesn't mean you have to sling around 100 pounds of dumbbells, but whatever that means to you, you're going to take that into the workout, and that's what you are going to go in with the intensity and doing your best and kind of pushing yourself. Um, same thing with food. When you are in a situation and you're trying to pick out food choices, you know, I always tell clients, you always have a choice. So you can either be <clears throat> heading, choosing to head towards your goal or you're choosing to head away from your goal. All day long, those are the options that you have. Excuse me, wait a minute. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, so. <laughs> um, the most important thing too is when you show up is you cannot do it for anybody else. As a trainer, I try to do my best to be motivating to my clients and to instill, you know, motivation and inspiration into them so they do what they need to do to get there, but I can only meet them halfway. So if you are going to show up, you need to show up and be the best version that you can be and do it for yourself, okay? So don't do it for anybody else. Don't do it for your husband, your spouse, your dog, your kids. Do it for yourself. Um, so that's pretty much the gist of today. So basically, make sure that your mindset is in the right frame of mind and that when you show up, you show up. You don't just half-ass everything, all right? Hope this was helpful. If you're interested in trying to um, see if the Turn Your Life Around program is for you, head over to shapeitupfitness.com slash call. Happy to set up a consult with you. I think that's it for today. All right, have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Doesn't want to end.